So we didn't know Geronimo Martins before we started this. And so a project comes in and many projects come through the studio. And we met Sara and Fernando and Rita and the team. And they told us the story of a company whose roots lie 225 years ago with an entrepreneur who opens a store, a company that has its roots in the community, that believes in people, that believes in bringing food to people, and that that spirit has grown around the world. So we heard tell of a company who we thought, they sound amazing and they look terrible. And that's our project. And when we know how ready a company is to change, that's a gift to us and it's a gift for the team. And so our creative brief, if you like, was right there in front of us. There's an amazing story uh, and a story of constantly moving forwards and a story of bravery and of family uh, and of freshness. And there's a really pretty boring identity. And the team were just like, let us start. In some brand identities, the whole system is really important and everything can work together. But with a group like this, the logo appears on its own, on the side of the building and on the side of a truck and many places by itself. The logo itself had to tell a part of that story, an important part of that story right from the beginning. Some of those things happened naturally. Uh, and that doesn't always happen, but we, we explored those things and a, and a natural fit emerged. Sometimes it's really hard wine. You've got to go through hundreds of versions and there's lots of difficulties along the way. But with this, with the logo, for example, it happened naturally that those things came together. The old and new balance, something with some heritage, but expressed in a new way, and building the idea in. And if you look at the logo and typography, there's a balance between heritage and modernity in there, which can work across everything. That's one thing. Don't forget the past, but it's got to be forward looking. There's lots of colours. Right from the beginning, we wanted lots of colours. When you look at the food world, when you look at the variety of the brands that Geronimo Martins have and operate, when you look at life outside, when you look at Portugal, when you look at these brilliant colours, we knew that you didn't have to be an orange and a blue brand. Ara's orange, Pingo Doce's green. You don't need to be the yellow one or the green one. So we knew we wanted lots of colour. Some of those colours then will find themselves more suited to one thing than another. So the building, it's, it's perfectly fitting that the logo is green. There it sits as a symbol of growth on this wonderful centre. More corporate applications, the dark blue might be used. And on, the, um, on social media and on films, we might find that other colours come to the fore there. So it gives... It gives you the flexibility to do all of those things. Some will be more suited to others. And I think already we're finding where those sort of fit, that being a good example, a big 10 meter green logo. The imagery, it's like a, a window on the world. And every time you look through the window, it's a different view through there. It's this amazing center, or it's, it's a supermarket, it's a family eating, it's food production. So the, the variety of images and the variety of colors express that every day is a new day. Every day it feels fresh. And so this identity can be different tomorrow in the story it tells than it was today. Something that the brand team said early on was they see the bigger picture in the smallest details. And so in the logo, the, the, the leaf of growth, although it's the smallest detail in the whole word, it's the biggest picture. So in a way, in that small detail, the story's told. Me and the team who've worked on this, this one of the most... Uh, beautiful projects we've worked on in a long time. And I say that in all sincerity. Something about the, the people, something about the culture, something about the project, something about this gap between amazing brand, not amazing identity. Um, all of those elements are perfect for us as a creative challenge. It's been a project of real, uh, with real heart to it. And it doesn't matter whether it's a Portuguese food group or whether it's a project in the States or something, it's been one of those occasions where everything felt right and the team could feel that. When I saw it on the building, this is the first time I've seen it in the real world of Geronimo Martins, actually being a part of your own world, it felt right. It felt like it's always been on that building. 
in the best way. And I don't mean it's like 10 years old and it looks tired. It somehow feels like it was meant to be like that. And so in that sense, I think it does. And that doesn't always happen where it was just, it feels completely uh, right for its uses.